Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So before starting off with this video, I'd like to announce that uh, we have started a new Telegram channel and uh, it can be a place for you guys to uh, ask queries, share programming content and uh, uh, generally have a discussion related coding. So over there I'll be sharing new videos, new code snippets and uh, new interesting things about the programming community so i highly recommend to join the channel the link for that will be in the description below i uh, suggest that you join and let's uh, catch up as early as possible right so uh, as you can see in front of me that i've opened the django website so from this series onward we are going to start with a new series or new series of videos on django and react so this is going to be a beginner series for Django as well as React. But our main goal for this entire series for both the Django and React will be a small e-commerce uh, application that we can build using this both framework. Initially, we'll be beginning with the Django and uh, it will be a uh, start from scratch kind of a series. So you might be learning django and you might find something interesting as well in this videos right so you can uh, look into these videos for learning django as well so yeah so our end result will be an e-commerce application which you will see as we progress in the videos and series so initially we'll start with django and as we build the backend we'll get into react as well so why are we selecting these two frameworks as we already know that django and react are two powerful frameworks when it comes to backend django is uh, a good framework to start with and easy to uh, deploy and work around with and uh, if it's with react you can uh, uh, get started with react as well quickly right so you cannot directly integrate django and react like a backend and front end together we need a bridge between these two so over here we are going to use django to build restful apis which will be used by our our react front end so the main purpose of uh, django will be to give a uh, restful apis to our front end so this is how we are going to play around with django and react so the whole idea of this entire series is going to be that you will also learn django as well as you will learn some core concepts of uh, react as well so um, beginning with this first very video uh, i'm going to start with django so uh, as we complete or we come to an end with django i'll start with react so i'll not uh, uh, put in react in between of django and mess up everything so please uh, to get into that and uh, yeah so let's get started with this so this uh, first video will be an initial impression of Django and how you can uh, get started with Django with a very basic boilerplate sample app that Django provides um, itself from the scratch like thing so this is the uh, documentation site of Django it is really good if you Want to start with Django you can just read these and build application uh, on your own reading the documentation itself and so this is the documentation and for this um, project kind of uh, thing uh, the prerequisites will be that uh, you will uh, have to know some basics of Python and uh, restful apis a bit and a bit of a javascript here and there so python for django and uh, javascript for react so the the machine which i'm going to use for this entire series is going to be over into linux and uh, if you're using windows or mac it's uh, the process will be almost similar but uh, some commands here and there might differ so uh, for django you need python in your machine uh, initially so make sure you have python 3.8 the latest version 
so let's uh, check that and how you can install that Python 3.8 so you can download the appropriate version uh, for your operating system from Mac Windows and uh, Linux the 3.8 is I think it is good to go and you can download it from here uh, make sure uh, if you are on Linux or Ubuntu uh, you have a default Python 2 already installed on your machine so make sure you have Python 3 installed and I'll put some documentation and ways of how we you can get started with the installation of uh, Python 3 on Ubuntu Linux right so once you are done with the installation of Python 3.8 and greater uh, let's uh, begin with the Django part so the first part is you install uh, Python on your system that is the must so first of all let's create a folder so the code for this will be available in the description uh, description but I highly suggest you to follow along with me to learn the core concepts of it perfectly so this is a folder which I have you can create a folder and if possible use VS code because it is a, a basic necessity I think for uh, a programmer to uh, have a good code editor so I'm using VS code you can use your own so let's create a new folder and um, let's name it as Django project so this is going to be like a brief introduction to Django and uh, the boilerplate uh, sample app that uh, Django gives and uh, after that we'll be looking into the admin panel and so on so let's create a folder and make sure you have Python installed on your machine so now let's open this folder uh, with the application VS code so this is the uh, VS code and uh, you can go to marketplace and install the Python extension as well as you can see this is a Python extension which you get make sure you have this as well when you're working with the uh, VS code make sure you have this and uh, let's navigate to the root directory so uh, getting started with Django is really simple you just need to have the basic uh, environment to set up Django initially so once you uh, download uh, Python make sure you download Django as well so the command for that when you're installing Django uh, on your uh, machine for the initial time you can use this command pip install Django and the version name or you can just use Django so it will install the latest version so you can just go to terminal and uh, if you are on uh, Ubuntu make sure pip3 and uh, install so pip3 is for python3 so and if you are uh, using python2 just remove this but I don't recommend using python2 because it is almost like deprecated so I highly recommend to use python3 and if you're using python3 make sure you use pip3 and follow along with any further installations so pip3 install Django so I already have uh, Django installed so uh, once that is done you are good to go with uh, Django Django is installed on your version uh, sorry machine and uh, you can also uh, check the version of Django once it is installed so after installing Python you go with the installation of uh, Django the latest version the 3 and the fourth and uh, let's uh, let's uh, create the first project with Django so uh, to get started with Django you have certain commands uh, you can uh, play around with so let's open the integrated terminal which we get in uh, uh, VS code and let's uh, hit the command Django admin start 
project and your project name let's name it as uh, my back end i think this is the command so the whole structure of django is divided into uh, projects and apps the project is going to be our entire project and within that project it is going to be divided into apps so if you have any experience with django you know you might have come across with django apps and things like that so if i give you an example of apps it can be a user profile management or a catalog or something like that so catalog can be an app user management could be an app can be an app and uh, a list of product categories that can be your app so the entire project is divided into apps and these apps come together to work as a singular project so initially whenever you start with django or start with this command start project and within that you can create your start app and uh, things like that which i'll show you in the uh, future videos so once you provide this um, let's um, hit enter and let's see what we get i guess it is not accepting dash so let's name it as uh, my backend i think this is good and uh, as you can see we got a basic structure with manage.py this is like a default file you get with django and this is uh, my backend so as you can see it automatically identifies you're working with uh, python and stuff so with my backend you get uh, default uh, files settings and uh, some configurations so this is your uh, basic command for starting off your project your project is my backend so let's clear this and uh, now let's uh, see the command where you can uh, create your own uh, uh, or you can st get started with your server and run your application so the command for that will be uh, make sure you are in your uh, backend folder so cd backend okay so you are in that uh, backend folder and uh, let's hit the command python 3 manage dot py run server so this is a command to run your uh, basic django app make sure you are on your uh, in your backend folder which we have created which is your project within that or else you get an error so let's run the server and as you can see we have our server started on port number 8000 let's control and click so this is our basic django app we have successfully achieved this and uh, this is going to be your server as you can see and this is the basic uh, boilerplate sample app which you get as a default with django so you you can see the power of django right you get so much uh, initially itself without setting up anything so this is your app as you can see you can refresh this you can uh, still see it's working and uh, as as you can see it is requesting get and things like that so this is your uh, a basic Django app so you can just close this clear this and uh, you can run the command again and you can refresh this it's still working yeah so this is the basic uh, demonstration of Django and also for the command python3 manage dot run server so the reason why I have uh, uh, written python 3 because as you know linux uh, already has a default python version that is 2 already running so if you uh, miss uh, providing 3 it will not identify it is it should run on version 3 python 3 and it will uh, catch the default version python 2 and run accordingly so it might create an issue so i highly suggest you work uh, 
uh, with Python 3 and whenever you uh, use such commands make sure you put 3 in front of Python to run your server and other operations required which you will definitely see in the future videos so yeah this is the initial setup within this folder you get some settings so as we navigate to this uh, files and sorry variables and things we shall show you in the next video what those uh, settings and configurations are and you also get a uh, SQLite 3 database initially but you can change it as per your preference so by default it uh, provides SQLite 3 database so you can use that and yeah so this is our uh, initial basic uh, Django application and uh, in the next video I'll be showing you what this backend folder consists of and what all settings it has within this settings.py URLs this file and uh, etc by the way manage.py is the most important file to run your server your, to run your application so make sure you don't uh, tamper that in any way so it is an important file so yeah this was it for this video this was an absolute uh, uh, demonstration of uh, Django and how to get started with Django and uh, in the further video in the next video I'll be uh, talking more about this uh, code itself what we have initially set up the backend folder files and uh, how we can resolve this issue uh, unapplied migrations and uh, the uh, introduction of admin panel so what Django provides initially when it is uh, considering of an admin panel if you might if you have worked with Django you uh, might be familiar with admin panel also so yeah in the next video I'll cover up those topics and uh, I'll brush up more on this part as me as we move forward so for this the code will be not provided as this is a basic least uh, part to get started with so as you build up our project I'll uh, provide the necessary documentation for this uh, Django as well as uh, uh, the code for this project so yeah this was it for this video guys uh, stay tuned for more and do uh, hit the like button if you uh, like this video and uh, join the telegram channel where I'll be posting some new content uh, regularly so yeah this uh, was it for this video guys thanks for watching